Hello everyone. My name is Yasuhito Noshi from Nihon University. Uh, I'd like to talk about the formation of Caspate Forum behind an island under, under waves incident from two opposing directions. This shows location of Okinoshima Island in Tateyama Bay, our study area. We will find, uh, we will find interesting shape uh, Caspate Forum. Yeah. Is this Tomboro or Sand Spit? I don't know. So we investigated long-term changes of the shoreline of this island and carried out numerical simulation of formation of the Caspate Forum between 1941 and 12, uh, 2012 using the BG model. This shows wind loads at Ameda's Tateyama. The most frequent, frequent, frequent wind direction is SW followed by N. From these facts, it is assumed that the Caspate Forum behind this island was not formed by waves that uh, propagate from the direction of the center, center line of the island. But we found by two waves propagating in opposing directions on the northeast and the southwest side of the island. This shows a numerical chart uh, produced in 1941 after the uplift of the ground owing to the Kanto Great Earthquake that occurred in 1923. A shallow seabed uh, of about uh, 2 meter depth uh, extended around the island. This shows changes in Caspate Forum be between 1947 and 2012. In 1947, no Caspate Forum had formed behind the island. A long Caspate Forum extended from the southeast end of the island to the seawall along the base of the Japanese, Japan Maritime Shelf Defense Force until 1963. Then, until 1975, the wheels of the surrender, uh, sandbar increased at the location where the Caspate Forum meet the seawall. From 1975 to 1990, the width of the Caspate Forum behind the island increased. In particular, the almost the sand, almost the sand deposited in, the, in front of the seawall in the south part markedly increased. By 2012, the shoreline had uh, advanced on the south side. Also, the shoreline changes on the north side of the Caspate Forum were small, resulting in the increase in the sandbar width on the south side of the Caspate Forum. This shows arrangement of 12, uh, 12 Tran transects cross the sandbar. This shows shoreline in, uh, intersected with seawall and uh, high berm station A. On the south side of the Caspate Forum, the shoreline has obliquely in intersected with the seawall, and a high bomb has formed at station A near the south end of the shoreline. This shows fossil slope of one over ten station B. When approaching this island along the shoreline of the Caspate Forum, the bomb formation ceases and the uniform beach of one over ten slope has formed at the station B. 
where a beach beach where the gentle slope extends without berm formation. That the berm formation on the south side of the Caspate Foreland is in strong contrast to the uniform slope on the lee of the island, implying that the wave height markedly decreased from the front of the seawall to the lee of the island. This shows North Beach on the northeast side of the Caspate Forum, Station D, different, for, different from the condition of the su south side of the Caspate Forum. The breeze has been opposited continually, continually along the high tide shoreline, and the scarp has formed near the high tide shoreline. This shows concave shorelines, scarp formation and the depositing of the debris on each side of the beach, Station D. A concave shoreline also extends on the east side of the beach, with scarp formation and depositing of debris near the high tide shoreline. This shows fascia slope of 1 over 10 on northeast side of the Caspate Forum, Station E. The formation of scarp and deposition of the of de debris near the high tide shoreline on the north side of the Caspate Forum are uh, in strong contrast to the formation of the berm on the south side. Thus, it is assumed that the beaches on both sides of the Caspate Forum have an independent, independent sand transport system, except for the sand transport by the wind. This shows longitudinal profiles across four transects. The beach has a flat surface along every transect, and the beach width decreases from transect number 2 to transect number 8. From these facts, it is found that the wave height decreases on the lee of the island, owing to the wave sheltering effect, even though waves are incident from two opposing directions. This shows major, major topography of the Caspate Forum. That the beach width far from the island is much greater than that on the lee of the island. However, the difference in beach width is small at the Caspate Forum behind the island, implying that the Caspate Forum was not formed by the unidirectional waves, but was formed by waves incident from the two opposing directions. This shows energy mean waves around the island. The waves incident from the two opposing directions make an angle of plus minus 74 degree relative to the direction. This shows initial topography and distribution of ex ex exposed rocky bed. The exposed rocky bed uh, distributes and approaches the island in the, uh, complicated, fro complicated forms, and the nearby area of the exposed rocky bed is covered with sand. In this study, the exposed rocky Rocky bed was assumed to be the fixed bed. The berm height HR was set to 1 meter on the basis of the measured longitudinal profiles, and the depth of closure AC uh, we set it to 2 meter. Equilibrium slope was set 1 over 10 from the measured values. This shows distribution of KD value around the island, calculated by a directional splitting method. In case 1, 
waves incident from two opposing directions are reflect reflected around the island and made behind the island. In case two, refraction of the single wave occurred at the offshore end of the island and the rock located at the north end of the island. This shows formation of cuspate foreland behind the island, case 1. And this shows uh, changes in the cuspate foreland behind the Okinoshima Island between 19, 1947 and 2012. And again, formation of cuspate foreland behind the island, case 1. As a result of the calculation, sand deposited on the seabed between 1 meter depth and the island in the calculation domain was transported behind the island owing to waves incident from two opposing directions and the sudden sandbar was formed. Until 1963, it was connected to the islands. Then, the sandbar continued to develop over time and the beach waves increased. Furthermore, the beach waves increased until 2012. The result of the formation of the slender sandbar and the southward expansion of the sandbar are in good agreement with the measured, uh, uh, me measurement results. This shows formation of a cuspate farm behind the island, case 2. Sand was deposited in front of the seawall behind the island, and its size gradually increased over time. A tomboro connecting to the island was not formed within the calculation time. This shows comparison of final shoreline in cases 1 and 2. In case 1, and land tide slender sandbar was formed on the rear of the island. In addition, uh, the shoreline behind the island intersected with the seawall at the low, a large angle. In case 2, a cuspate of land was formed. Similarly to case 1, a flat sandbar was formed along the seawall with the shoreline smoothly connecting to the seawall. Finally, it was concluded that the sandbar behind the Okinoshima Island was formed owing to wave incident from two opposing directions. Okay, I conclude our study. This is, this is our conclusions. And thank you very much. Stay home.